I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. Hello. I'm Sam Healy. See what I mean? Goodbye. No, okay. we're not done yet. Okay. Oh, we're not done yet. I'm sorry. Sam is chilling. He's already ready for the cruise. I am. Which is, if you're watching this the day we posted it, starts in two days. Are you ready? I'm not. No, because it's not actually two days away. We're recording yeah. at a different time than this is airing. If what? You, if don't you, ruin the magic. Hey, <laughs> man, you don't realize. <laughs> you were gone with us yesterday. You would be ready. That's probably true. They they went and why are we talking about this? It makes me f this feel like a Q and A or something. Because we're doing our top ten games to play. In a no, we're not. <laughs> um, we're doing our top ten gaming accessories. This is a. Ooh, I love gaming accessories. Said I never before. That uh, was not good English actually, at all. <laughs> this actually sad. No, look. Here's the thing. I really like gaming accessories. This is definitely a list a lot of people have asked for. Really? Least, uh, you know. Yeah, definitely. You are in the minority. You're definitely Most in the minority. people. Whoa, like whoa! Gaming watch your mouth. Um, oh it's okay, goodness. folks. Just messing with Sam Heaney. <laughs> He's right. I'm on <laughs> fire today. What'd you, what'd Something was nothing. I'm, I'm a little this frazzled this morning just because I was running kind of late, and then I had a bunch of little things get in my way. So. <laughs> Now he's calling us little things. All right. Well, that'd be the first. Okay, so anyway, these are ways to accessorize your games, use with your games, whatever. Um, so I Bling made, it out. I made my list as in these are 10 games that I would most be likely to recommend to somebody. 10 things. 10 things. Feet. Oh, yeah. good, because you worried me for a moment. I was like, man, you done Whoops. messed up telling us I how need to make to this <laughs> list. Got to do some <laughs> quick, quick editing. No, there's like a few... Th and. and I'm going to wait to see if they're on either of your lists, and if nope. you're not at the end, I'll mention a few notable exceptions where I think people expect me to put on the list, and I didn't because I don't necessarily recommend them for most people. Okay. Or huh. what have you. I mean, I just, I, again, I am not someone who uses a lot of accessories for games. If it comes in there, I'm good with it. So my list is mainly made up of different uh, types of dice. Like number 10 is D10s. Number 9, D8s, because there's there's not real good D9s. But then for 8, I had, to get, I, got D9? I, got to, I had to get tricky for 8 because I already used the D8. You'll see. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's get started. Mm, mm, mm. Number 10. All right, my number 10 is actually going to be the one where I kind of swing for the fence because this is the by far the most expensive accessory that you could possibly buy at this particular moment in time, and that is gaming tables. Oh, that was weird. Um, not any specific gaming table because really you have to find the company that's going to fit your budget the best, but a board game Walmart. table is like the best. Best. No, I highly well, recommend actually, not I'll, getting one I'll at Walmart. Actually, I'll get there. I'll get there in just a minute. Because if you do buy a, bo a table from Walmart, you can buy a game topper from uh, uh, Berkey, and topper, that uh -huh. really kind of makes the thing. Now, it's not a plug or anything like that, but that's what I was thinking because gaming tables are so expensive. There are less expensive uh, varieties out there that you can find. And that's why I'm not really mentioning other than Berkey. I'm not really mentioning any other companies because you really do have to do the shopping on your own uh, to find what fits your budget the best. But board gaming tables, in my opinion, is probably the, the cream of the crop as far as how you can accessorize all of your games at one time. Yeah, this is one I struggle with. This is one I did not put on my list. Yeah. Again, for that reason, I'd like, man, I, I love especially this table, the one we're sitting at. I really like this table a lot. Yes. I like the, the game tables that, you know, Rascalers, Geek and Sun, the game toppers. I yeah. really like these yeah. tables. But I can't say that you need one or right. you should no, no, get no. one. I mean, if you, you have the money, yes, you should. Well, here's, the, that good. Here, here's the thing. This is a gaming accessories list. You don't need to get any of these things. That's a lie. Whoa, whoa. My top four you need. No, you I don't think, need I think you definitely things. need my seven you and my three. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. All right. So my number ten is a uh, a start player app. Um, huh? No. Now listen. I think I like Z hates when the rule book gives you a weird way to pick the start player. I don't hate it. You I just despise it. <laughs> like if it says the person with the longest beard, he's like. It's an important oh, delineation. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I I don't mind those at all. But a lot of times, most of the time, the rule books say randomly pick somebody. If the game has dice. Fine, roll some dice, right? But a lot of games don't have dice, so what do you do? There's many different ways. I really like having different start player methods. There's a spinning finger. There's, 
you know, I, I, I've I'll, seen it. You drop I'm a piece. <laughs> you drop a piece out of your hand, and whichever piece falls out That's is just the thing. you. No one does that ever. Everybody does that. What are you talking you, about? What you do is you take a, each a piece from each player color, and then you throw them against the edge of the table or something, and you oh, pull that's it, what I do that no one else ever does. Anyhow, but a start player app, you can get free ones. You can pay a buck or two for nicer ones. Once we all put your finger on the app or it's a spinner or whatever, I think they work really well, and it's something I use a lot. Really? Yeah. See, the thing is, I, I had one for a while on my phone, and by the time I get to that point, I just I pick something faster than the phone comes out of the pocket, and I fire up the app, and everyone touches my phone. Keep your fingers off my phone. That's mainly it. Anyhow, this one is... Easily was easily number ten on the list, you know. But because all the I other ones are so much so, better. Yeah, that was kind of lame. Is that what you mean? No, I don't think it's lame though. Again, I could have made a top fifty here. Um, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Always trying to upstage us. Always. Like, I expect man, every time I, went I say up to one of these. Three hundred and forty-five on my Every time top I say one of these, like, oh, oh my goodness <laughs> me, oh my, we're gonna need a new gaming table. Another gaming accessory, <laughs> a rag, a bib. To Wipe up gaming drool, bibs. Apparently. I'm getting into the gaming accessory business, y'all. Gaming, <laughs> gaming bibs. I'm going to add you soon. Keep an eye out for that fundraiser. <laughs> that actually wouldn't be a bad idea, but okay, That's go ahead. That's a pretty What's bad yours? idea. All right, my number 10, you, I expect you to tell me where on your top 50 it is, would be a laminator. A laminator is a very inexpensive piece of equipment that I, uh, you can get from, for my, mine, for example, came from Amazon, and it was 20, 22 bucks, something like that. And it's great for um, anything you add on to your game that you then just print out on a, on a piece of paper, or maybe a game aid, maybe uh, extra scenarios, whatever. You can then laminate that sheet of paper, trim out the edges a little bit, and slap it in your game, and it looks great. It's, it's uh, sturdy. It's going to hold up uh, to play, to actual play. I've done that with uh, Robinson Crusoe. I know I did it with. I've done it with a few roll and write. Roll and write. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's good. Um, I need to beat that did you roll do it with right Robinson Crusoe great. boards themselves? No, I did it with uh, one of the downloadable scenarios that they added on to it. What about the games that come with those super thin boards? You could do it to that, too. Yeah. What I have it. glare? Uh, I haven't had a problem with it, but I guess it could be a problem. I don't know. Um, I would love to do it to the Vegas Showdown play mats, but they're just too big. Well, you can go to the store and get them done. Yeah, but then where do I put them? You cut them up. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Make puzzle pieces. Yeah. <laughs> really glue thin them, puzzle. Glue them back together. Glue. <laughs> Tape them back together every, every game. Every time. <laughs> hot anyway. Glue, hot, hot glue would work. Oh. Because it'll peel off. My number 10, the Laminator. That's a good, that's a good call. Number nine. All right, my number nine is going to seem odd considering the name of our show. And oh. it, it's both. Welcome to the dice tray. <laughs> yeah. No, it's the dice tower. I really oh, oh, okay. I thought you said it was going to look weird. Dice no, tray is I'm saying because it's so low. It's you think so? Yeah. Um, dice towers, I really do like them. My favorite is probably a tie between the Blue Panther dice towers and the E-Raptor dice towers. I like dice towers where you roll the dice and then you can move the dice tower and they're sitting there. Okay. They work great. There's okay. some there's really cool dice towers and stuff. We have that one where it spins around. That's neat. We have some big wooden ones and 3D printed ones. There's so many different. I mean, there's right. dice towers being made all the time. The one with the scroll. But I like... Just those simple ones, you drop the dice in and then you pick it up and move it. And then they look cool too on the table. You can get them themed and all different things. Mm -hmm. I, we're, we are really like in Dice Tower Nirvana right now. There's those, the, the dog might huge ones and the really yes. expensive magnetic yeah. ones. And you get, I mean, yes. companies are making Dice Tower, Yell just made a Dice Tower for one of their games. You know, they're making Dice Towers for their games. Mm -hmm. We named our show the Dice Tower. I do like them. Now it's number nine on my list because I don't always use them. It's not always something I want to bring out. Not all games have dice either. So yeah, but even when the games have dice, if like sometimes if I'm chucking like you know sixty dice or whatever, well, that doesn't happen that often. But wow! You know what I mean? Wow! Well, you don't play Warhammer 40k anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that happens, wow. that My happens number nine sometimes. is going to be the dice sack. <laughs> 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 Talking of sixty dice. Well, not not sixty. That's no, a, but in Warhammer, I definitely thrown thirty. Yeah, I 30, definitely thirty and forty is possible. Uh, we that's right, wild anyway. sauce. By the way, am I going to like uh, uh, have a talking to if Dice Tower did not make my list? No. Yes. Play card games. Why would you have a Dice yeah, Tower? I mean, whoa, whoa. I roll 
60, 70 dice. I'll give easily. you guys if you can put a card shuffler on your a list. Year, oh, maybe. that's bad. That's like the no no list. Card that's like, shufflers. That's like if I, we were making the top 10 <laughs> worst game accessories, card shuffler would be on that list. Yeah. Yeah. Who, uh, True. I, I remember the person who introduced me to card shufflers back well, in the day. I, I thought it was a cool thing. Yeah. And then it, did it mangle up cards? It didn't really mangle the cards, it just it doesn't work very well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, anyway, my number nine is a dice bag, actually. Um, and, and by that, I mean just the small ones with, you know, kind of a drawstring deal. You keep your dice in there. I don't. I, I own two. I don't necessarily like that accessory that much, but I do like the way they look. And for someone who is uh, an RPG gamer, someone who, you know, has a large collection of dice that they need to keep separate or have on the go with them, I do like the way they look. There's just something chic to a cool dice bag and you can get them branded all sorts of ways you, you know it's just a really cool looking accessory that can both be geeky and you can take with you but it can be understated you know and it can be very much your dice bag so that's why i like uh, that's that's why i think they they are something that if you are looking for a way to have your your dice on the go a dice bag, a nice looking dice bag is going to be the way to go. That's my number nine. My favorite dice bag are the ones where they open and stay open. Like, you can open them and become they basically oh, become a bowl. Yeah, cool, yeah some cool. companies that made those that look really cool. Yeah, nice. that's neat. That was in my top. What, what number though? No, I didn't tell Patrick. 37. Ten. My number nine is an accessory that I have actually probably used more than any of the other accessories that I own. Whoa. And uh, because I, I've toted this game around a lot, and it is the Memoir 44 campaign bag. Uh, now, this oh, is very wow. specific okay. uh, for the game that it's used for, but it's, it uh, has, first of all, it has a thematic look. It looks like it's, you know, a, a rucksack from a, from a, you know, made by the Army or something to that effect. But, I mean, it, it's still very, util very useful. Uh, my only... One slight complaint with it is that one bag doesn't carry everything that Memoir has because there's so much that there for Memoir. But a second one, and again, so this two. is he has one on each shoulder. This two is rooks. largely <laughs> this is largely out of print, so I don't want to I don't want to push this too much. I mean, this is my uh, my top ten, so that's why uh, it's on the list. But I definitely use Memoir 44 campaign bag probably more than any other component. I store my my game in it. Uh, and whenever I take the game to a to an event of any kind, it just comes right off, sl you know, slips on my shoulder, and it's ready to go. So, uh, Memoir Forty Four campaign bag is my number nine. Number eight. All right, my number eight is a card rack. I think that's what you call them, like a card holder, card tray, card tray. Sure, why not? I mean, like a. A thingy that holds your cards. Like this. Like this, oh, built into that, the that, that's, yeah, that's not a card tray. That's, that's card, a card tray is like a, something that holds a deck of cards. I Correct. think those are largely stupid. Because um, the table would do that. Wow. What? I said largely. It's okay. <clears throat> but a card holder, card a holders. card rack, what, whatever you want to call them, I do like those. I, I don't necessarily like them, like to use them myself, as you'll realize for most of the list. <laughs> What is, what, you brought how is this oh. your top ten? Ah, did you did right. you use somebody else's top ten? No, <laughs> man. I was thinking like, okay, of everyone I play with, what do they normally like to do? Because they are like bad at holding cards or whatever. So this is like your supposed top ten. You like yeah, these too, though, right? You this is a memoir. theoretical list. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a like theoretic. a list. It's, it's like not a list even a real in list. Oh, All right. Goodness. So. I do like the way that you are able to set up your cards. You can look at the whole thing. In fact, uh, we've done this in uh, Memoir 44. Has and them built in. The only reason you said that is because he just did. Oh, you did? I'm not listening to you right now, <laughs> man. Can't you tell? I'm going. Ah. I had no coffee today, but I feel like I did. Anyway, <laughs> My goodness. cards held, looking at you, hands free. I don't like it necessarily because I like it's to. It's a good choice. I think it's a good choice. I like them too. It would be a great choice if he actually believed in it. <laughs> All right, I what believe do you got? It. What do you got? <laughs> For others, I, you know, you should get them. All right, my number eight is 3D terrain, and uh, like I'm not talking about just uh, like tabletop war games where they have all this terrain set up. Although that's really cool. Okay. You're thinking um, more like the cactuses. Or the cacti. The from, cacti. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. The cacti from. Uh, oh. 
the uh, that train game that Z hates From so Cold much. Express. Cold Express. Well, no, because yeah. that actually comes in the box. Yeah, but it helps. It, no, the, it's like an immersive it part of the. I can't even. <laughs> what I'm talking about is just like those things that you can make on your own. Uh, that you go to the hobby store, you buy a bunch of, you know, usually it's like Moss. train modely type stuff, and you can make your own terrain. And it makes the board pop a little bit more. You can buy it as well. I think it's overly expensive uh, to buy it. But uh, another thing that I've seen in 3D terrain is uh, a guy sent me some, it's really just planks of wood cut into a hex that have the hills for memoir yeah, set on top yeah, yeah. of it. So you can, you can set those on the board and they pop up off the board and they show where the hills are. And it just adds another level of uh, cool factor to your game. Hmm. Uh, but anything like that, it doesn't have to be very extravagant, but anything that just makes the game pop a little bit more, showing the different kind of terrain that's on the board, is cool. So um, largely to what extent you take this is up to you, but 3D terrain is my number eight. Now, my number eight, you got to agree with a little. Okay, All let's right. see. Let's find uh, out. It was almost those boxes with the three sets of cards in. I hate it. You don't like those? No, I love those. Those are great. That should have been your eight. What is your eight? My eight is the thing you gave me earlier, that photo case thing. Aww. Um, they're made by Iris Photo and Craft Keeper. I, they're, like, they're made to hold. He actually went and looked it yeah. up. Yeah. I want to help people if they want to get them. No one wants to buy those. <clears throat> anyway, they, they're, they're made to hold photos, but they hold a small card game really well and then there's bigger cases that hold those in them which you, i have in my room yes yes yeah. i know i really like these because you can put any small card game in them you can even put games that are slightly bigger than a card you get someone put splendor in one because splendor there's not a whole lot in that yeah. box i have a couple games where i have them split between two of them but they're really good i got werewolf and all these games it holds the tokens and then the fact that they slide in those other containers holds right, them really I think, well. I think that's what you like, that you can take a bunch of them and like put them in the mother in the mothership, right? I mean like No, I do like that, yeah. Because otherwise the ones with the three little spots for cards just blow this away. Yeah, but the three spots of cards are also very specific to those card the a normal card size and things. You it's harder to put tokens in those. Right? If the three slot card one came with the way to move the, those slots around, it'd be better. Okay. I have to pick the photo one because there's also games with cards that are bigger sized okay. or whatever. Okay. I can give you that. I really like these. In fact, I've gotten rid of some, I know this is anathema, some boxes to games and put the games in those instead. That's anathema. Mm. Whatever. You've done it to yourself. I just, I and then I regretted it. Inside. Did you? Yeah. You, all right. Regret. But I like these. So photo cases. Number seven is a good one in case you don't have a fancy gaming table, and that is play mats. You know, any sort of uh, uh, rubbery play surface. I've got a few of these. I uh, I forget. I did not. I did not look specific brands up, but I do have one that I talked about. Actually, I did a review for it, if I'm not mistaken. This was a long time ago, and I love it. I love the way it feels. I like the the finish on it. You know, kind of kind of like felt. It's got a good spring to it, so you can pick up carts easily off of it. That's the best part of it. It's not overly fuzzy, the one I, I have. So I would, I would definitely, if you're looking to get a play surface, a play mat, that is not just a little individual one, which is fine, but I would get a nice big surface one. Definitely, it's the kind of thing you want to see in person. You know what I mean? If you're nitpicky, especially, because the finish on them does change from maker to maker. And yeah, they have a good a good spring to them. It's very easy to for me playing on a on a wooden surface or a glass or oh glass. Blech. Playing on any surface that is completely flat is going to be problematic for card gaming. On this kind of surface or a play mat, you can just push the corner on a card and pick it up very easily. And I like that very much. So I, yeah, they don't they're not as good for rolling dice though. But they're good for taking names. Why aren't they good for rolling dice? They, they just, they just don't sound weird. as well. They bounce and they, they, they just. Oh, they bounce. That makes it better to roll. Uh, better to you don't get that, that feedback. True. Yeah, it's. See, I'm what satisfied. I do, I just yeah, make I, the I noise have, myself when I do it to make me feel better. <laughs> I mean. That sounded more like Cthulhu, but it yes. sounded like you were throwing human bones. Yes. <laughs> Rolling the bones. I, I actually considered putting this one on, but more specifically, I like when a, the, many of the board game companies have made these mats specifically for that board game. Mm. And I don't like that that much because I cannot fit it back in the game box. Yeah, well, I just have them on hangers in the closet. Because you're weird. You also own, like, 50 hats. 
That's true. And he keeps them in game boxes. It's weird how he kind of shoehorned that in. That was really like specific. What did I do? Weird. All right, my number seven is higher than dice towers, and that is dice trays. Oh, oh man. and the truth. We can't call the show the dice tray. Why not? <laughs> yes, you. Actually, we could call one of our shows the We're dice tray. We have right? to do that now. Here's the deal, though. Oh, dice man. trays have dipped for me considerably since owning one of these tables because we don't need them anymore. It's we can true. just throw it That's around true. on the table. But most tables aren't like that. A dice tray, dice hours are really cool, but dice trays let well, you really throw the dice. I just, I mean, the they're reason little, dice tower... a little tower, more functional. Yeah, the reason dice tower does not make my list, and the other one might, or might not, is because you don't get to roll the dice in dice towers. You are dropping them into a contraption. In a dice tray, you roll them. You know what I mean? There's just you something... realize that is an extreme semantical difference. No, no, I get what he's saying. Well, you can do the whole. It's just the, da, 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 of like being da, da. dropping them makes them roll. I know, I know, but the, you the, da, 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 the whole like rolling. shaking them in your fist and doing that thing feels. If you get good like at it, you can still do it with the dice tower. Just wow, wow. <laughs> anyway. All right, so dice trays. My number seven. What do you Love got? Love it. All right. <laughs> my favorite are the octagonal ones. Yeah. Those look cool. Octagonal. Yeah. Number seven uh, for me are custom box inserts. Um, and these come from companies like Broken Token, Zenbens, uh, Game Trays makes a few of them. As a matter of fact, that's one of the ones that I, I wasn't going to actually include until I just realized, you know, I can just mix these all together into one. But uh, uh -huh. Wasteland Express Delivery Service actually comes with a custom box insert made by Game Trays, and it is amazing. Uh, other ones that are of note for me are uh, Broken Tokens Blood Rage. I really enjoy that box, although I need to glue mine together, as some of you already knew. Um, and then the mm -hmm. Star Wars Rebellion from Zenbens. That is another amazing one as well. These are really cool. They, they are somewhat pricey, so uh, you really are probably only going to do these for your favorite games, the ones that you maybe play a lot more than others yeah. or something to that effect, but I really enjoy these because they, they first of all store your game uh, in an efficient manner. They also make setup and uh, tear down a little bit more efficient as well when you're playing the games, so there's a lot of pros and not too many cons to having a good custom box insert, so that's my number seven. Yeah, definitely it does double the price of the game usually. Yeah, for the yeah. most part. Um, yeah. This was one I considered too, and it's just, when it comes down to it, I just don't ever seek them out. Like, so mm -hmm. I get a cool one. I got that really cool one for Yokohama or the mm -hmm. Feast of Odin, and the, yeah. those are really cool, and I like them. They're neat. But I never go, oh, I wish this game had an insert. Usually I, I throw the ones in the box away, and then I just put everything in bags or something. Yeah, your bag is going to be on your you're list. You're a monster. You'll see. That means yes. You'll see. Number six. All right, now we're moving into essential stuff. All right. <laughs> the rest was garbage. No, I'm just saying <laughs> this stuff you got to have. Number okay, six for see. me is more dice. More dice. I really hate when a game comes with one die. Okay. And everyone has to pass that die around and use it. So if a game, if there's, I always have extra dice. I have a few dice. Um, <laughs> I want to get some B-roll and stick it in this footage. I know, right? Yeah. No, no, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, yeah. Then, and then also some give you all a, a leisure look at his hats, his various hats. <laughs> What's going on with the hats? No I don't know. I like the hat you're wearing today. Okay, so... Hat is an accessory. So anyway, Clothing I like these dice. I specifically like the double six dice. Those are the... Those are cool. Those the, are cool. They're D12s, but they're the dots on the side. They just roll better than six-sided dice. Yeah. So I really like those. And so I'll replace dice in games with those sometimes. But definitely if a game comes and there's a dice to pass around, I'm like, can I give everyone their own dice? I will do that every time yes. if I possibly can. Because I just hate that. And also there's that one person who's always holding the dice in their hand. You and you're polite, lo looking you around. You politely ask everybody, like you just did, can I give everyone their own dice, please? No. You just give them their own dice. You're not polite. And if, I'm, and if someone's holding the die, by the way, and fidgeting with it, it's Sam Healy. Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't you in the last game no, we played. Who was it? We were like all looking. It, it was, was on Gian Saturday. Someone was Giannis. holding it. It was Giannis. Yeah, we were all like looking for the die. Like, where's the die? He was and, like, he, and he was like, I don't know. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so extra dice. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Uh, sorry, my number six. Uh, very similar. As a matter of fact, this might be the 
uh, replacement. If you can't afford the, bo the custom box inserts, what you may want to look into are component trays from some of the very same companies, game trays, Zenbens. There are probably other ones out there. I think uh, Geekbox has uh, some component trays as well that you can fit inside your box. Uh, Hang on, I don't know exactly yeah, what you mean here. I'm confused too. Component trays. No, I'm just saying it's slower. It's not helping me. <laughs> Uh, no. like do you mean like box? I can go get some. I have oh, some sitting on my Oh, do you mean like desk. those like those little plastic things, like like fishing tackle trays, no. but they're smaller? No, I'm talking about those things that the jewelry hold box one kinda. specific kind of component. Oh, inside those! Your box. Oh, 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 the cup like things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, no, I mean, uh, Geek Tray. Uh, I'm sorry, Geek Box makes some. Yes. Yes. Game right. trays. Zen Benz also has some that are like two in one. Uh, you, you can store two components in it, open it up, and then you have to divide the two components, but it's like uh, two trays. And no, I know exactly what you mean. Now. I, I, I just didn't think the word tray for those. So, I call them like bowls or containers or whatever. Well, anyway, if you, if you cannot spend the extra cash to get the uh, box inserts, getting some of these for your best better games is almost the exact same thing as far as storage solutions and setting up uh, expedition and um, tearing down and all that other kind of stuff it really does the same function it's just hmm. not usually as expensive as some of those custom box inserts are so uh, the it's really kind of six and one half a dozen the other here as far as the effect that they have in your games but uh, I think this one is probably a little bit more practical, I guess you could say, because they're not as expensive. So that's my number, what, six component trays. And what I like about those actually is if you have a, uh, a lipless table and a game that has a bunch of components, yeah. it's not the storing them in it's, the game, it's the keeping them in a yeah. pile on the table that right. I think is like, you know, really yeah. how useful they are. Yeah. All righty, my number six is Shelves. <laughs> Ikea shelves, baby. I'm talking Calyx all day long. They're square. They're gorgeous. They're going to be coming up on Tom's list with that I ate the canary look on his face. Ikea should be sponsoring our show, frankly. <laughs> and I want to make a new announcement. Ikea is going to be... <laughs> no, Shut no, up. They they're, not, not. they're not sponsored. That'd be, that'd be great. Actually, um, actually, these aren't on my list. These are not on your list. Yeah, oh, I thought you. about it. I thought about shelves, Number and I was like, ah. Uh, not on my list either. I, I thought it's it, fine, but he should. I like shelves a lot, but no, no, no. you're going to get shelves, right? You, you can't have board games. I guess you can put them on a pile on the floor somewhere. Yeah. I used or to I used to put them on hangers. Oh, no. No. He used to put them on hangers. No, I think uh, he's Ikea mean. shelves are just. Yes, he is. He's mean today. I'm sorry, man. You make me make lists about components I don't play with, and then. I'm sorry, the number of lists you can do is like very small with your taste in games. I'll get I'll let you know when I get to like the stuff that's really good. Oh my it's goodness. It's not gonna happen. Oh um, my goodness. No, I think IKEA shelves are awesome. And, no, they're and, really and, yeah, good. They're, they're kind of uh it's a French. They're they're kind of What about the out Game there, Throne? You know, everyone the what? The Game Throne shelves. The uh, the Kickstarter. Oh, I'm so yeah, tempted, but they're so know. expensive. The they whole look like great. each game gets its own shelf thing seems overdone. I don't need game every is special. Game. No, some games are not that special. Well, our games are because they're big. Yeah, I know yours I are really get tiny. A game throw for my top 100. That would be that would be kind of cool. So my top 100 is displayed at all times, and I can. If I owned what's a there. castle, I would do that. <laughs> oh, that would be interesting, and then you could like switch them. Yeah. Like you move up four spots, exactly. you come back. That was a bad game. You're off. Yeah, <laughs> that would be kind of exactly. neat. I do like that. Anyway, uh, IKEA shelves like Calyx or something like that are awesome sauce. That is my number six. Number five. All right, my number five is a little bit more of a niche um, accessory that uh, if you're not into painting miniatures and that type of thing, I knew paint would show up not somewhere. Not going to be something that you're probably into, but paint rack organizers or um, uh, organize desk organizers. These are things mm -hmm. that uh, are like very that. <laughs> yes, <you> uh, do. <laughs> interesting because they help you keep your space organized so that you don't have to spend 15, 20 minutes organizing your area before you then begin. I mean, that's that's like a couple of coats of paint there, 10, 20 minutes. So uh, I really think that uh, paint rack organizers are the are a good way to. Um, Organize your space, make it a little bit more efficient for uh, when you're doing that thing. Painting miniatures already, um, even if you're not that great at it, can be a very you know calming, relaxing experience. 
Uh, doing away with having to straighten up your area every single time you sit down can only just add to that relaxation. So um, a couple of, uh, the company that I, that I have on my desk is Hobby Zone. They're a little bit expensive, but um, uh, there are and there are a whole lot of other kinds of solutions that are out there. So again, it's just up to you. You having to do your own shopping, but having those. Uh, storage or uh, uh, organization solutions uh, for your paints and all of your other uh, tools and stuff like that is a really cool thing to have. So paint racks is what I have for my number. What is it? Five. Five. Now, speaking of which, you got a, you got interested when he mentioned a desk organizer. That's right. You really like buying those organizers with all the stuff and desk. So why don't you like it in a board game? You like it in real life. What do you mean an organizer? Like if there was a desk organizer, you'd be like, oh, like, ooh, this is really cool. What so, board game has that, or what No, like accessory? inserts and things like that. What's your number five? We'll get to some <laughs> All right, my number five has actually been mentioned already, mm. and that is paint organizer. No, yeah. it's not. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a dice tray. It's my number five. Dice trays, again, Dice Tower did not make my list. But yeah, dice Thanks trays, for keep mentioning that. We get it. It's out you of know, your list. Just, ugh. Ugh. No, I, I like Dice Towers fine. I own a couple. I and they, own the if, I, if I'm tight for space, a Dice Tower is better. I mean, That's true. Again, they, take, they, they have a smaller footprint, for sure. But I do like the rolling throwing, that I called throwing, rolling. Throwing dice. The throwing dice, um, which actually some sometimes people do say, go ahead and throw, throw the, the dice. dice yeah. right? Um, in Spanish, it's always throw if you translate one to one. But anyway. Huh. Um, I learned something. He just helped my case. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I like dice trays. The, that's the, that's the uh, one of my favorite accessories. And as, as Tom said, now with these kinds of tables that have the, uh, the lip on them, you can just sort of chuck the dice against the edge of the board and they won't go anywhere. But if you don't, and if you're playing on a, on a table that has no lip to it, a dice tray is fantastic. Round or um, hexagonal, whatever. They're beautiful. There's a ton of makers for these. Just find something you like. And again, you can get creative with the theming here, just like I said, for dice bags, and find something that speaks to you. That is my number five dice trays. My number five is the most controversial item on this list. Oh, snap! No, it really is. And I get hate on this all the time. And I'm, it's like it's the board gaming world tends to despise this accessory, but forget that. I'm using it because it works. Wait, wait, wait. Cheetos. wait. What could it be, Sam Haley? Cheetos. No, it's not an accessory. <laughs> what could it be? It's hated in the gaming world. Uh, it's people not going to People are always looking. I'll, I'll give clues. People are always looking for something to replace this and use something instead of this. Paper money. No. Are you kidding? Baggies? Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Yeah, it's rubber bands. Rubber bands. And here's the deal. Cause, and rubber bands. I feel like a sleuth, baby. <laughs> Every time, you know, you, people are getting in gaming and someone will be like, oh, you don't need to use our bands. You can use this. What's that tape called? That um, magic tape that he wraps cards? It. He has it. Some people use the hair ties. It it's called than, Hugo's Amazing Tape. Hugo's Amazing Tape. Bands? <laughs> no, but here's the deal. People always say, well, oh, you know, you find that old game and you, and you look at our band that's disintegrated on the cards. First of all, if you haven't played your game in 20 years, you deserve that. Secondly, well, those are old, junky rubber bands. The good rubber bands do not disintegrate like Ikea that. Ikea rubber bands, baby. That's where it's at. <laughs> Alex, sure. rubber bands. But the fact is, rubber bands are... I used to... When I first was getting gaming, I was like, all right, yeah, get rid of the rubber bands. And I started putting all my cards in, in bags. That's really annoying because getting the deck out of the bags is... Rubber band, I go... And I'm done. Uh, oh, huh? Well, you go. Done. That was cool, actually. That, that was, was pretty solid. Cantamine. That's how you I do it. That. I liked it. But with the bag, you're like sitting there, and sometimes the bag is like just a little bit bigger than the cards, and so you're just trying to get them in. A bigger bag. You're using the right. wrong side. Well, right. yes. Come on, we're However, a bigger bag. No. <laughs> no, no one, is, no one is laughing at you right now. Well, maybe. Um, no, but that's the thing, though. There isn't bigger bags. Like the four by six bags, which is the best ones. It's you're still trying to crack the bag open to put the deck in, or the deck is fat, and then you're splitting you it between it in two in pieces, bags. Basically. Yeah, I, I, I'm just like, why am I doing this? Rubber bands just work well. But that's not the only reason rubber bands are good. They also, I found, are very handy for keeping your boxes together when traveling with them. Yes. The big rubber bands. Yeah. I especially like the ones that are four ways that go around the box. That's I a found good one. That's a good one. Anybody who's traveled with a box and has that box, that board game, open up that's in your bag. That's one that I'll latch on to. Yeah. That 
rubber band gaming accessory is amazing. Yes, that should have been my regular rubber band. Anybody who instead of like a laminator or some crap, you don't no, don't get a laminator. <laughs> Anybody who's traveled and has uh, the whole game fall apart in the bag, it's like, yeah, yes. no, that's really annoying. Yeah. Okay. Didn't that just happen to you in the... Yeah. A yeah. couple, couple of games that I had to review, and I had to spend like an oh, hour yeah, yeah. before I reviewed it, separating it all. Now you know what my life is like, even though it's my own fault. Yes, it is your yeah, fault. Yeah, you right. have to stop doing it. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, so rubber bands, I find them very oh, useful. I try to buy good quality ones. And How can you I, find good quality rubber bands? How can you tell the difference? Though? I just can tell when I look at them. Well, excuse me. Well, la de da. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, and I know people who say blah, 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 but they're cheap. They're easy to find. They're worth it. I have thousands of them in my games. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was the most awkward, <laughs> evil person laugh ever. Oh, my goodness. That was fantastic. <laughs> All right. Number four. All right, my number four is uh, has already been mentioned by one other person and refused band, to be put band, on the, the other person's list. So that is Dice Towers. In your um, face! Dice Towers no, are no. incredibly useful to me. First of all, they keep the dice in a located place. Dice trays do the same thing, and I only own one dice tray, and it's a very cool one made by a listener for me. It has a Blackhawks logo on it and everything, so I really like that dice tray. Um, and I have used it, but f more often than not, I, I like using the dice towers. I like having uh, it drop through, hit all the different uh, panels inside the dice tower. Um, I usually don't like the loud clickety clack that, that Tom likes. Oh, how um, about that big dice tower we have? It has yeah, all the different machinery yeah, yeah. in it. Well, I mean, that's, that's fine. That's like a, oh, a, 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 fancy, a like specific experience. One. But uh, more often than not, I, I like to have a muted rolling sound. Uh, so uh, the, one of my favorite dice towers that I've actually, it's the one that I've owned the, the longest, the one that has that uh, old rusted out computer tower look to it. Oh, that we wow. Got in Korea. That's still my favorite one that I that use. That company went out of business. Yeah. But uh, it has little uh, foam lining on each of the different oh, levels. Really? So it's not so as it's loud quiet. going through. Yeah, I'm actually surprised oh, it's more, more company. Tower. It's a stealth <laughs> tower. I'm, that's my second business idea. People don't steal it. Gaming bibs, stealth dice towers. <laughs> but anyway, um, Wormwood, it, they're yeah. really expensive. Um, but man, are their dice towers <laughs> nice. Um, and E Raptors made some of them that are that are pretty cool too i usually like the wooden ones i just like the way they look a little bit better um, i like those plink, what do you think I about like the, the plinko way they ones sound a little bit better actually the yeah, wooden ones true. like the, yeah. the, the plastic, laminate or whatever the it is plasticky ones are just a little it's a little too, more clinky it's yeah. a little more you know yeah but i really do enjoy just dice towers i think it's, it's great either. it keeps the dice from going all over the board possibly knocking over other game components or misplacing scoring tiles or yes, yes. or what have you and that's the functionality that's there with the dice tower i really do enjoy them my number four my number four, I put it in any game that is possible to put it in, and 99.99% of the population, with the exception of Z Garcia, likes when I add these to games. I've never heard a negative thing against them, except from Z Garcia, which is super confusing to me, but it's because of his iconography or whatever. And that is the upgraded components from Stonemaier Games, specifically the first treasure chest. He did a whole pile of them. Um, of different components to upgrade your games with. He's trying to think of something troll testing. <laughs> he is. No, I'm doing it, actually. The wheels are turning right doing now. Doing it right now. <laughs> no, but the fact is, like, instead of having like a little red cube as a brick, now you got a little brick or a little piece of metal. They're really cool. I've replaced Stone Age. I've replaced uh, Caverna. I've replaced a lot of pieces with these. And I just, they like, especially the little gold bars, there's like a little heft to them. I really like them. You don't I'll like them because... You they look great. Don't get me wrong. Like, they are extremely well produced and they look like the thing. I love that. I just don't like that they don't look like the icon in the game, except for in Charterstone, which is his own game, that he basically made the icon not look like the components included, and do look like the upgraded ones. You are seriously, again, the only person I've ever heard complain about this. I just, it makes it easier to teach the game. Why would I want an extra step to be like, that's a bar of soap, which is this thing, even though they don't look alike. Well, why can't you just say, instead of calling it a bar of soap, you call it like, that's the icon for gold. 
and in front of you, you have a gold thing. Yes! Because That's if they gold. looked the same, it would save me having to have said anything. You don't have to say anything. You say that that's gold, and people are like, oh, I wonder what gold is. Is it these little gold bars, or is it these red bricks? I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with the gold bars. <laughs> Trollfastic! No, you that's not trollfastic. That is true, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I don't know. Again, for me, it's just a visual clarity thing. I know I'm a big stickler for that usually, but eh. Now, the problem, with these, the problem with these is if you want to upgrade a lot of your games, Ooh. they're not they're not cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially mm -hmm. once they found out how popular they were. Yeah. And once they're popular, <laughs> everyone's like, oh, let's raise the price on these a little bit. Yep. Um, so I'm glad I got a lot. Of, and if I ever see them anywhere for any kind of reasonable price, I buy them. Because, again, I'm upgrading my games with them. The gold bars, the bricks, the wood, those go in so many games. Mm. Um, his, his other sets that start doing Eldritch Horror stuff, and technology, mm. those are much fewer, right? I sell, you know, I got those and I was like, oh great, this goes in one game, maybe two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the Elder Charter stuff, there's like seven of those games, but yeah. there's not as much, like you get a little data chip, that works for Android Netrunner, and uh, but I still like them. The Treasure Chest from Stonemaier Games. Yep. Okay, my number four? Yeah. Uh, no. Yes. Oh yes, I've already done Okay, that. my number four no, has actually been mentioned already. But it's not on anyone's list. <laughs> I've been talking about all kinds of gaming components, so that don't matter. This is Hugo's Amazing Tape, <laughs> which is better than rubber bands. No, first of all, it's hard to find, it's expensive, and it's harder to put on. Yeah, it's all true, actually. <laughs> I got nothing. I mean, I just like it better. Um, and this is, if you don't know what this is, it's just vinyl tape that basically sticks to itself, but not anything else. And I use it a lot for small decks of cards, you know, the kind with a lid that either splits a deck in two or whatever, that, that type of little box, because you throw that in a bag, you're going to find card confetti when you open that up. I got a question, know. real quick, I don't mean to inter interrupt. You, you said did, it sticks though, to itself, did. I know, yeah, I didn't mean I'm to. Um, it's, you know, I'm, no offense, but... <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you. You said it's vinyl tape that sticks to itself. Yeah, yeah. How does it hold then the the tape? I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, cards the box, together. Then. It's just they tight don't, around. They don't it. slip out. No, no, it's too grippy. That's that's what it is. Uh, so it it does kind of stick to other things. It's kind of like Velcro then. So it's Velcro. No, it's just vinyl to itself has very good uh, just surface uh, yeah, tension. Yeah, Not surface tension. That's a bubble, but um, uh, friction. Yes. That's what it is, but no, it won't stick to the box at all. I mean, but it, but it's tight enough around it that you don't just slip it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. And um, yeah, I just I like them a lot, and you can easily repurpose it. Even if technically, if they stop being a little bit sticky, you can wash them if you wanted to. Really? I've never had to do that. Okay. Don't feel like oh man, now I gotta wash my you know you don't. Water, my number three. But. But yes, you can wash them and they get sticky yeah. again. You know, they they, cool. they grip to themselves again. Um, I think it's great. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's kind of a of a more out there sort of pick for me. But I picked it for me because I I have a lot of little card games and I use them on all of them. Never had a problem with it. I love it. And just grab the game, chuck it in the game bag. It's gonna be closed when I get there. You know? So this is when your actual list starts. Right now. At number four. At number, number four. four. <laughs> Actually, at number, no, yeah, at number four. <laughs> Here we go. Number three. Number three for me is kind of a tie-ish type thing. It's either. Sounds like you're cheating. I don't like care. It's either metal tie. coins um, or poker chips. I don't care. Oh, metal poker chips. Uh, metal poker chips. Oh. Metal poker <laughs> chips. Man, you want to talk about a heavy poker set. Casino Royale, baby. <laughs> There's two things I dislike in games. One is paper money a lot, and I also dislike when the game wants you to keep track of points somehow and gives you no way to do so. And for both of these, poker chips work really well, especially they, they've set the mini poker chips, which are really cool. Mm. Um, they, the big poker chips are nice, but I went out of my way a long time ago to find poker chips that didn't have like casino markings on them, because most do. Yes. They were more expensive, though, for sure. They, they got close to like a dollar per chip, which mm. was... Yeah, you might as well just start using coins at that point. Just get dollar coins, yeah. Right. Now, because with dollar coins, you're playing the game, and halfway through the game, you're like, you're losing, what? Z. You're like, yeah. Where'd half my money go? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you test people's metal. 
Not all metal. <laughs> I get it. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but no one would ever win a game. I'd be like, did you win 50 right. bucks? You're like, no, I only no, got six. I got 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> So, but I really like these, okay? Paper body is so annoying, it gets, it gets crumbled. It's annoying to hand back and forth to people. There's something, I mean, I prefer games come with cardboard money in them or something like that, or card yeah. money, right? Yeah. But if not, the poker chips, we've replaced so many in games where we use those, or I use the metal money. A lot of Kickstarters now know people like this metal money, so they're upgrading their components to include it. Okay. You know, and, and there's they, even Kickstarter campaigns for just metal money. Oh, there's like one oh. every month yeah. of a new place He's making like, these metal coins. Make money for Sci-fi dwarves versions. and for Dwarven goats version. and for whatever. Elven yeah. version. Yeah. Right. But I like them. I think the and only game that has paper money and I like it is Dice Town. Because the paper money Isn't is linen paper. finished beautiful paper. Yeah. Well, and I don't even know if it's paper. I think yeah, it's, it's like pla- weird, I mean, it feels weird, plasticky weird a little pla- bit, yeah. but it's like linen. You can tell this this linen finish, woven finish. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. But and again, I'm not like ooh, best component in the box, but I like it all right. Plus, with that game, you're not really using it that much anyway. True. I like the stuff in Millennium uh, Blades. Yeah, because it's a stack of paper money, yes. like and it's stacks all, of it's cash. It's sort of banded together. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, but but for the most part, this is one of those things that. I would always have in my collection. Like I would always have replacement coins somehow, some way. I got the poker chips. I got the metal coins. I will usually replace them if 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 the money is bad at all. And again, it's also a way to keep score too, in case they're like you know, write down on a piece of paper. I'm like, wow, I'll just use coins. Paper is on my most hated. Is it me? <laughs> no, I believe so. Oh, no, yes. Me, Z, Sam. Oh no, yes, Z-Z. yes, me, yes. Okay, my number three is assistant apps. To board games. Why well, you got in my case about the start player thing? Yes. Um, <laughs> assistant Moving apps on. to board games. I'm not talking here about board games that need an app. You need that app. I'm talking about, as, as uh, we were talking about this the other day, for some reason it came up, Sam. Uh, apps that enhance a game, be it with um, a timer built in and maybe like ambient sound. You know, I'm thinking here specifically of Sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, which gives you a countdown for your sheriff phase and sort of like the market hustle and bustle. I or like London that one. London Dread. London Dread gives you the same thing and a built-in narration, which is spectacular, by the way, in that yes. game. And uh, countdown and street noise and stuff. That kind of thing, you know. An app that maybe helps you score, like the Seven Wonders did. I, I used it one time. Someone else had it. Is the one with the camera and you can take a picture of the game and it tells you your points? I don't think I never did that one, no. Oof. My favorite... That'd be pretty cool. That's the future. That's, that's the future, but it's true. My favorite assistant app as of right now that I've used ever is uh, an app I've been using for uh, Arkham Horror, the living card game. And in it, in that game, you are constantly having to pull out a faith token from a bag, which you have to find. And they, you put a bunch of tokens in there. You make a, poke, a, a token pool, depending on how difficult you want the game to be. Well, there's an app that you can build the... Um, or a poking tool. A poking tool, man. A token pool. Jesus. Stop! I don't need a poking, demo! You're a poking tool. A poking tool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's an app that lets you build the token pool in there, and then you press a button, and it randomizes a, a pick for you. I have, since I downloaded that app, not even pulled that bag out of the box anymore. Wow. It is so much faster, because you're doing it every turn, just about. Mm-hmm. You know, it'd be like, play a couple of cards, hit it, okay, great, and you touch it again, and it takes it away. Here's my thing, though. I feel the same way about that as I do about rolling dice on an app. That It works, right? But it feels, that loss of tactile feel Not bugs for this me. One. Not for this one. I don't like rolling dice on an app either. But this is just reach in a bag and pull out a token. And look at it and chuck it back in the bag. Okay. The okay. app kills the bag mechanism for me. So anyway, that's my, uh, that's my number three assistant apps to board games. All right, my number three has also already been uh, mentioned by Mr. Ziosia. Ooh, ooh, it's going to be. Um, you got amazing tape. Actually, no, it's Ikea not going to be. shelves. That. No. A dice thing. I'm just going to say it because you're going to go through your whole list. Uh, it's custom <laughs> play, play mats. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, but you are, are you agreeing with him or me? With the, the boards or the... No, I, I actually like both. Um, matter uh, yeah. for, for example, yeah. I like both the ones that... Both things have to be divisive. For, it's the internet. 
I like the ones that are for like uh, X-Wing um, that you lay out, and it is the size of the board playing surface that X-Wing needs. Oh, I like that. And yeah, yeah, I yeah. I also mm -hmm. like the ones, okay. like I just got one for Champions of Midgard. I haven't used it yet, but it replaces the entire board. Sure. And I like it for, I understand not being able to fit it back in the box, but I like it for the other reasons that you mentioned and that you'll be able to pick up stuff off of them easier um, and, and so forth and so on. And it just adds another, another thing is, is that boards, if you have them on a, on a very slick surface, they'll slide around. Yeah. But these play mats don't slide around because they've got that rubber back on them. Yeah. There's also and, no folds in them. Correct. And that's another cool thing that I like about them. I was going to get there. But um, yeah, so custom play mats, <laughs> custom play mats are, are really something that I, I very much enjoy uh, in games. I wish more games had them available. Uh, but uh, they're, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm not so much the fan of just having a play mat down that is some generic background because then mm. it might be antithematic to the game that I'm playing. But. I, I really do enjoy the custom play mats. I think it's a great idea that, that somebody came up with a while ago uh, to start making you know mouse pads bigger so that we can play board games on them, basically. Because well, no one uses a mouse pad practically anymore anyway. I know, right? So you got it. Like, the, the company's making them. We're like, what do we do? No one wants these. <laughs> We've got to reinvent ourselves. And there was one ourselves. nerd in the back who was like, uh, I have an idea, sir. How about we make them bigger and we right. play... Um, a board what game. was the game that was out then? I don't know. Diplomacy on it. Oh, and then his, his used to be <laughs> friends slapped him. They're like, we'll never play that game again. But that's a good idea. Yes. Anyway, my number three, custom playmates. That sounds like a story we need to explore more. Number two. All right, my number two I do like. And I actually like my number one slightly better, which is really weird. But, uh... <laughs> My number two uh, has been mentioned already. What do you guys think that is? By who? By, I don't know, by Sam. Yeah, by Sam. Oh, well, then I don't care. Uh, <laughs> component I think trays. you haven't said it. Huh? Component trays? No, box inserts, though. Oh, box the, the, inserts. The, yeah. oh really? Yeah. I thought you custom, didn't like box inserts. Cost, custom inserts? Are you kidding me? No, he, he, he... We use them. I never even seen you put They're one in your They're expensive. Box. Yeah, they are. If you get one in and you're not keeping it, I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I love them. Yeah, I love. I bought. You're not getting any now. I bought. <laughs> wow. uh, Made fun of my hats. I think sweet. two or three ever. Mm -hmm. I got one for um, actually Arkham Horror, the living card game. I got one because there's a bunch of cards in there and it, it sorts them. And King of uh, Tokyo. No, because it's. I mean, they have to make King sense too, though. Okay, that's Tokyo. the thing for me. Custom game inserts should be made for a game that needs for them. which it makes sense. Yeah. Some games don't need a custom insert. They have like five. Because it Arkham components. Horror, the living card game. How does that need a custom insert? It helps sorting and it helps. Oh, setup so you can say that. that with every game then. Look, they make custom inserts for like Splendor, okay? A, it has a great custom insert already. And B, it has three components. Stop right. it. That's what, that's what I was talking about. You, I mean, you have like a few, like I've, I've seen inserts for uh, Spectre Ops. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary, completely unnecessary, because there's not enough components in the box to warrant needing an insert. Right. But right. I, I, that, I, that's what I think you're saying. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And and again, when it's well done, when they're well made by by some of the brands that Sam mentioned, and they're for a game for which it makes sense, I adore them. Mm. Uh, one of my favorite companies that makes inserts is a company called uh, Go Seven Gaming. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah. And they, they make wonderful stuff. It's just that, you know, laser cut laminate type type deal. And it's it's good. It's they got a good look, they got a good uh, a feel and, and heft to them. Um, yeah. The Custom only inserts. only thing about inserts is that they do add a lot of weight. They do. They do add yeah. a lot of weight to the game. Well not to get the foam ones. Yeah, that's true. The foam ones don't, but then Insert here dot Emmy? They don't they don't in many cases they are functional. They just don't look as good as the other ones. Right. I, yeah, like for me, wood, I, I, I like the wood look. They are easier to pull out of the box, though. Sometimes I, I, I love the stuff from, uh, yeah. what's it called? Um, the Broken Token and uh, Meeple Realty. Meeple Realty. I love them, but sometimes it's like, oh, how do I get that out of the box <laughs> without well, ruining really, the box? Really elaborate then, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never really had that much in uh, trouble with pulling wooden stuff out of the box. I, I mean... Uh, the Meeple Realty stuff, Broken Token There's stuff. There's a few that are really right out, but it, it does depend on how tight they're packed in the box. Yeah, yeah. that can yeah. be problematic. Anyway, that's my number two: custom inserts. 
Whoop. Oh, it's my turn. All right, uh, my number two has already been mentioned as well, uh, and that is metallic coins. Yeah. Or metal coins. Yeah. Um, paper money um, should never be used in a board game ever again. Um, and yes, that might mean that our board games will be slightly more expensive because everybody's including non-paper money in there. What about paper money where you have to rip off each sheet individually off the little pad? Have you guys ever got one of those? Well, you had one of those. It just came in. Yeah. Uh, and and whoever was opening it, was maybe Melody. You're kidding me. Yeah, it's like one of those little um, sticky notepad type things, and you just have to, you have to rip off each each bill. It's a notepad. You got a notepad with paper that money is, printed on oh each my sheet. Goodness. Yes. <laughs> That's wow. our judgment. Thorough and harsh. <laughs> Get that big hammer in here. Anyway, um, the the one main thing about this is the is the expense of, of getting them and yes. getting enough that you will need to replace all of the coins that come in your your game already. Yes. And the, that price can be offsetting. I don't think I own any metal coin sets because I just simply can't afford them. Uh, but if I play a game that has them, I'm loving every single minute of it because it really makes that money in the game feel like money. Well, you only technically you could have one set of yeah, coins. And thematically, and, it yes. won't tie to stuff. Right, 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 I, I get that. There would be the thematic disconnect there. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's a possibility. Dwarven, but Dwarven at the cats. same time, this is one of my favorite kinds of game components out there. And they also feel good to clank them down on the table yeah, right, and stuff. Right, right. All right, my number two is the game bag. Um, I specifically put the game canopy. The, ma the mighty game bag. Yeah, you know, you, you, you laugh, but... And the, the, the game bag thing is really intriguing because there's so many. Like, some people swear by Ikea bags. I, I don't think they're that great. A lot oh, of people like use... just the big blue thing? Yeah. A lot of people use bags they get at conventions, the Dice Tower bags mm -hmm. and things like that. Sure, sure. You got a, a bag off of Amazon, I think, was it? Yeah, I got a few different bags because, no, I, this, is, this is a fine pick, but um, you kind of have to find the one that, who's, which, the, the style that fits you. The one I have is one that's made for a, uh, like a drum, I think it is. And it kind of looks like those fancy game bags from It does. Canopy. It makes me sad because it's a square. It's so much like more than what you have. a little tower, right? And it's got Velcro up the top. You pop, pop that Velcro, you have two zippers down the front. And pulling those down, the front flops open. So you're mm -hmm. looking at an empty square yeah. that you fill in. And the it's perfect for, like, ticket to ride size boxes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you flop this up again and zipper. Plop, and you're good to go. It's got a handle at the top. That's cool. And my only concern with that is it's really not made for board games, so I'm worried about Wade busting that handle eventually, but so far it's great. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, there's ones that are made for games specifically. There's a lot of them. There's the whole game folio system type yes. stuff. There's, yes. uh, And the problem with these is they are expensive. They really are. I mean, I love my, I got two game canopies. They sent me one for review and I liked it so much I got another one. So I guess technically I got them 50% off. And even then I was like, uh, do I want a third one? No, those are pretty pricey. Yeah. We got the game tank, which, you know, is, that's game like. Game ta tank? Yeah, it feels like you're carrying a tank. Yeah, you're putting it on your back and you're like, ah. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. But there's a lot of them and sometimes they're waterproof, which is a little odd. I mean, I get, you want to, water resistance is fine. You know, if it's raining, fine. If you're dropping them in lakes. Bulletproof and <laughs> Nobody, nobody goes in a lake with a backpack. Everybody yeah. knows that. Kevlar lined. <laughs> so, I, I, but I really do like them. I really like them. That's the thing. I use them all the time whenever I go to game night. I, I, I used to use tubs of games, the plastic tubs, but they're unwieldy, as we learned yesterday, as we lugged one onto the, uh, the cruise ship. You know, they're unwieldy. Yeah. But the, the bags work really well. When you're done, they can, they can fold up pretty small. Yeah. So everyone will have their own opinion on which bag is best, right? Yeah. Some people swear by the IKEA one. Some people, you know, some people bring Walmart. No, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that with the plastic I bags. Know some people like to get the kind of bags that you can roll behind you. Also, I've seen those. So yeah, we got some people with those. You have to like carry, carry on, carry on bags. Or like, kind a, or like of, kind of. Well, Gene like has a, that crate that yeah, collapses. It's kind of like a collapsible a, crate. I've seen those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so and those aren't bad up. either. The the reason I like the game canopies is I can have one in each hand, hold them, and they they hold those tickets ride games perfectly, and they fit in a trunk and on the seat of a car. I don't know. I just really like yeah. them. So game bag is my number two. It's a good one. And finally.
Yeah. All right, my number one is. Wait, wait. Let's let's see if we can guess. Has it already been mentioned? It has. Well, it's not the bag. Um, I'm gonna say assistant apps, actually. No, no way. Sam loves him, him some technology. He's a meme fiend. I'm gonna say upgraded components, like like changing, like not necessarily the Stonemaier ones, like I said, but changing something to a cooler component. That would be correct. What? He has chosen wisely. In your oh, face. Oh. <laughs> I told you, 99.9% well, you you of the population. You looked right at me when you said that would be correct. <laughs> Actually, I, I thought if, if it hadn't been that, I would have said something like paint. Because you do like painted no, miniatures. No, 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 no. Actually, paint should definitely be on your list. All well, paint Just, racks is. That's. No, 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 no. Assume. Like paint, brushes, <laughs> cleaning rags. No. Okay, anyway. No. Water. Yeah, no. Custom, custom uh, components, replacements for the components that come in the box, whatever you might want to call them. Uh, those are really what, much like the metal coins, whenever I'm playing a game that has a lot of money in it. Uh, the metal coins just makes the game come alive a little bit more. Custom components just make the game pop uh, more realistic, whatever you want to say. Uh, and that's why it's my number one. Because, first of all, I think it's the, the most practical. Um, I wouldn't say, well, I don't know, practical might not be the right word for it. But it's the easiest way, I guess you could say, to give your games that next level appeal look, feel, whatever it might be. Mm. We're also very strong on theme, both of us. And these yeah. help bring, I mean, a pile of cubes doesn't do anything for the theme. Right. But if I have a pile of, of wood here, and if I have a pile of Technically, you do have a pile of here, wood if you I, have cubes. Just saying. Hit him. Hit him. Don't hit me. No, I won't. Good. A, and then a pile of gold like here. Theme. You know, it, it makes it, I don't know, it just makes it, that theme come across a little bit better, and, and that's what I enjoy in games. So, oh uh, by far, uh, head and shoulders above the rest, custom game components. All right. Okay. That's like good. It. Good. My I'm number curious. one has also already been He's mentioned. Already said, like game components, dice tower, right? My number one has been mentioned by Sam already. Ooh. Get him. Oh. I'll hold him, you hit him. He's wow. Like, um, there's only 10 things he on He already list. said that. He already said. He has a whole bunch of those. Custom. But you said those too, so that no, can't be no, right. No, but he forgot because he wasn't listening to me. Uh, Just pick a thing and say it, Sam. I don't know. That one demon? <laughs> no, it's paint rags. You pointed the wrong yeah, right. component trays. Yeah, I, I don't call them trays. component trays. Yeah. Um, but bowls or, or the containers, bowls. specifically the geek box. Holy cow, do I love those. I bought a whole case of them. Right, yeah, right. And I like plastic bags. I almost put those on the list because we use plastic bags and everything, right? Yeah. But I like these better for, for the same reason that Z said. They hold the things, but even more importantly, during the game. Yes. And I love yes. opening the game up and going, yes. there's all the components. Instead of opening the bag and pouring them yeah, and then like putting them together. Them yeah. Especially when they fit on the board. It's, I, so many boards are like, put all the wood here in this area, and you're putting it there, and it's spilling out. <laughs> <laughs> With a container, you just go, boom. And the geek... The, the Geek, uh, geek, geek box. box. Geek Box ones, I love them. They're, they're, they come in packs of three, and, and they, they're, since they're square, this, I think square is a little bit better than round because it fits in the box better usually. Yeah, the round sure. ones waste box space when you're putting right. them inside. And they don't pop open in the box very easily. They, they have. But um, I like them better than the ones from, uh, what were the ones you mentioned? Zen Bins. Zen Bins that have two. two one. I don't like having two components because yeah. then you got to separate them out. Again, I like the fact that when I'm it playing a game. space within the box, though. That's true, but I just like being able to open the game up and go, Ch -ch -ch. you like that, too, though. You like having all I the components do. ready to go. You're, I, you're winning I, I, me over I on this. I would like both of them. I would like both of them, actually, but mm. either or. But, I mean, I just love these things. I love I, uh, any game. I, I have a box right over off screen here. For when uh, my kids open a game, yeah, that's that whole thing there. Ooh. It's true. When I open a game, I'm like, if possible, we're using these over bags. If I'm keeping the game. Yeah. If I'm not keeping the game, I'm not, I'm not wasting my geek things on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my number one has oh. been mentioned. Okay, well, I think I'm, by both of you, I think. Really? Cards. I was going to say bags, you know, like a carrying bag for your number one, but by both of us? That's good. A carrying bag would have been a good choice. Maybe not for number one necessarily, but yes, that's that's good. Get, get a oh, carrying oh, bag. Oh, really? You gave us grief on our poker chip coin thing and it's on your list? Well, don't, you don't know what it is. Is that it? It's what it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! 
any trolliest list ever. Metal coins are awesome. And while I don't necessarily enjoy upgrading game components, that again, give me a little bit of a disconnect with the theme, uh, or with the iconography, I should say, not the theme. Metal coins, my goodness, are metal coins very satisfying to, to All right, next put I play together a game with, with and play with. And that's, that's the one thing in a game's array of components that if I can bling them out, oh, it, it shall be done. Because I love metal coins. I only have them in a few games, like you said, because, yeah, they're expensive. But, wow, do I love the, the just, that's almost ridiculous, but the class they bring to the game. You know, they, they elevate the, the whole proceedings for me. And yeah, absolutely. That's my number one. It's Next time one I play thing. a game with Zine, it was Metal Coins, and I'll pick a card up and we'll say, uh, show a little dollar bill, and I'll be like, I, I don't know what this component is. <laughs> what component is this? <laughs> Man, you're, you're all on fire today with your trolltasticness. You started the fire like before. We didn't start the fire. Yeah, you did. Not no, me. man. Rucksack, baby, rucksack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. All right. Anyway, that's my number one. That Mula Cash made of iron. There's probably lots of different things we didn't mention. There's right. things specific to, like, the, like Sam mentioned a paint rack. That's a specific thing to a certain, you know, genre. There's corner clippers that some people use for, like, war games. Yes. Where they yeah. cut the corners off. There's all sorts of things. Tell us in the comments. What, what, Gaming accessories do you like? You know, tell people where they can find them too, because that's always the like, big thing. It's people like, oh, that's great. Where do I get it? Yes. Rubber bands, Office Max. All right. Everything else, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get my. No, I have to. I have to feel my rubber bands when I buy them. Oh, I need to get rubber bands. Okay. Anyhow, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks, everybody. Sam Healy. See you on the flip side.